Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump. It finally happened. The media, corporate media, has been salivating over this event for like a year now. And it finally took place. Now, first we want to apologize because we were planning on doing this earlier, but uh, the, you know, something happened with the you know, yeah. insides, the yeah, stomach area. Yeah, yeah. Just, Watching uh, it didn't really sit well with us, no. even though we had shots of Pepto-Bismol. Right there. Just right there. Ready. It just, just didn't work. Didn't I, work, I almost man. had to call out for work. I know, man. Because, you know, we said it was going to be a shit show beforehand, and, you know, it, it, it was bad. It mm-hmm. was real bad. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of analysis of what the two candidates had to say. We're going to start with Hillary Clinton. So she threw the first punch. Uh, they were talking about taxes, and Hillary Clinton said that Trump's track, uh, Trump's tax plan would be a massive giveaway to the wealthy class, probably the biggest tax breaks for the wealthy class that we've ever had. And it's a, she said it's something that she likes to call uh, trumped up, trickle down. Trumped up, trickle down. She says she likes to call it that. <laughs> she got him. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I'm a singer. <laughs> now, have you ever heard Hillary Clinton or anybody in Hillary Clinton's camp say trumped up, trickle down? No. So there's some new no, stuff she's trying to. Stuff, which is fine. <laughs> which is fine. Because, you know, she's probably trying to, you know, add something to her repertoire. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she knew who she was up against. So she wanted to, like, throw the first little blow. But it ended up being it like weak. it was real lame. It was a below, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, also, she talked about uh, clean energy, saying that we need to invest in clean energy. Really, Hillary Clinton, the one that supports fracking, the one that sold flat fracking all across the globe as Secretary of State. Mm-hmm. You, you, you want to invest in clean energy? Really? Um, speaking of clean energy. Um... Has she said anything about the Dakota Access Pipeline? It's been weeks now. Mm -hmm. It's been weeks. Mm -hmm. And she's still silent. Mm -hmm. She hasn't said not a thing. You would think that somebody that's trying to become the next leader of our country, you you would think they would have a position. A position. Mm -hmm. Either way. Lips have been zipped. Nothing. Trump was talking about NAFTA and saying how NAFTA was probably the worst trade agreement that's ever been approved here in America. Uh, that's led to, you know, thousands and thousands of jobs being lost and shipped overseas. And Hillary Clinton's response was, that is your opinion. Eh, she just kind of like brushed it off. Brushed it off. I think by now, most Americans know about NAFTA. Yeah. And know how bad it was for the country. Yeah. And it's kind of, uh, I'm not regrettingly saying this, but he was right on this. He was Even absolutely though he, right. But I don't think he believes that. He just knows you know who who he's talking to he's talking to the yep. base and he's talking to people on the fence so he's just saying that because he knows like uh, kind of like what bait to put out mm-hmm. but that's kind of sad that Hillary Clinton kind of just like brushed it off and then kind of you know not even challenged on it no but why do you think that is though well i mean if she let's see well <laughs> If she would have kind of said anything negative about NAFTA, mm-hmm. then I think, I guess, she would kind of have to say something bad about the TPP, too. You see, and that's that's where we can go next, because they talked about the TPP as well. Mm. And um, Trump said that, you know, he, you know, uh, Hillary Clinton supported the TPP and called it the gold standard. But Hillary Clinton said that, no, I said I, I did say that I had hoped it would be the gold standard. And that was just a flat out lie. It was just a blatant lie because, again, Trump is right. She did say it is the gold standard in in trade agreements. It is the gold standard. That's what she said as Secretary of State when she was selling it. And now she's trying to hedge her bets. Now she's trying to. And even if somebody and even if somebody asked her about it, she would probably say, well, that's what I meant to say back then. (laughs) A recent poll just came out and said 77 percent of Americans don't even know what the TPP is. I mean, the media, so, the media didn't even do a good job covering it, so of course they right, don't know right. what it So is. she can say, well, I said this, or I said that, or I, you know, it's the gold standard, or mm-hmm. I hope it was the gold standard, or I haven't read all of what's in it. She can say all of that. And Americans just be like, eh, Yeah, because they don't know what it is, and, mm-hmm. and she knows that. And, and she also said that, uh, this is a quote from her now, she said, I hold the same standards as I look at all of these trade deals. Now, I believe that. 
because you have her supporting NAFTA, you have her supporting the Panama Trade Agreement, and you have her supporting the TPP. So if, yeah, she does hold the same the same standards when it comes to trade deals. And see, that's see, and that's how she she gets out of the doghouse, mm-hmm. or you know, that's that that's how she digs herself out of the hole. Yep. She makes everything seem positive, yeah. so it makes her look consistent. Mm-hmm. But you were be, she's being consistent about something that's not good. No, that's awful. <laughs> Uh, she uh, <laughs> she also said that she uh, she hopes that private prisons are ended. Really, the woman that took money from the private prison industry hopes that is ended. You know that's her style, though. You are you know that's her style. It's the same thing she said, or the same thing she did when she talked about getting money out of politics oh, yeah. and it kind of corrupting the process, right? It's just, it's just lip service. While she's doing the yeah, same, exactly. While she's taking more money than virtually anybody. Yeah. Now Donald Trump didn't have any better of a performance. He defended the use of stop and frisk. Now we all should know that stop and frisk led to injustice, leads to injustice, and it disproportionately hit people of color for some reason but somehow he thinks it helped with the crime level. yeah he thinks that violent stop and crime. frisk is the reason why violent crime in new york city went down it was already going down yeah it's still going down and it kind of stop and frisk didn't yield anything no like, and studies showed that right yes yes but he he thinks this is a good practice like i said it and leads to injustice like last week he was talking about uplifting the you know the inner cities and talking what? about the black community, the black right? community. Trying to get that black vote. I think he truly believes stop and frisk works. It just sounds like he really believed in it. He just, just, just detached and out of touch. Oblivious. He also defended his role in the birther movement. <laughs> now, we know that uh, just recently he came out and said that he believes that Barack Obama was born in America. Oh, good. great job. Oh, yeah. now, okay. Yeah, great job. But he failed to apologize for it. And he failed to apologize for it in this debate as well. But what he did was defend it because he said that, hey, you know, uh, Hillary Clinton didn't didn't get anything out of it. You know, I got to I got President Obama to release his birth certificate. So I did something good. So now now we can go on and move on to, you know, different things. That But see, it doesn't make sense, but it does make sense for Trump Mm -hmm. because he has to appeal to his base. And sound reasonable, yeah. but to reasonable people, it's obviously not reasonable. And you know why it's not reasonable? Because even after President Obama released it, he still he was about still it. running <laughs> still it into the it. ground. Yeah, and now he's like, "Oh, it's not an issue now <laughs> because I solved it. It's not an issue because I solved it. <laughs> not because I dropped it. He deserves credit because I solved it." Another thing Donald Trump deserves credit for, which is what this was really like eerie. Like I I couldn't believe he was talking about this. He was talking about some club he owns in Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, And he was talking about how he deserves credit because there's no discrimination at this club. Like, you deserve credit for not discriminating against people? How, 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 How old is Trump? Trump is 70. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's, let's, let's see maybe where he's, maybe having like a, he may be having like a time warp issue. (laughs) Um, he must be like so maybe like <laughs> 50 60 years ago <laughs> yeah I give somebody credit yeah you might pat him on the back yeah saying and, you know go get him but I, in, in 2016 2016 you want credit for not discriminating against people <laughs> that's crazy Are we can we give him like a, at least give him like a gold star and a cookie no he not, don't get no he don't get nothing not even an oatmeal razor <laughs> Nah, no. he he made it like he unilaterally solved racism. I know, right? <laughs> hey, there is no discrimination at my club. Pat me on the back. <laughs> what about like the moderation? You know what I'm saying what? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Lester Holt, man, what do you think about this guy? What, what? How do you think he did? Well, I think he was there to just play nice. Yeah. Uh, to not let things get too dicey for Hillary Clinton mm-hmm. because there's a there was a couple of times where he kind of 
you know, brought Trump out for certain things. Right. He brought up the birtherism. He brought up his taxes, not releasing his taxes. Mm-hmm. But then on the other side, he seemed just a little, a little, uh, you know, shorthanded. Yeah. And dealing with Hillary Clinton. And since, you know, he asked Trump a financial question, mm-hmm. like I would have thought that, you know, sh- you know, he would have let Clinton have it too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. It's, well, okay, the financial a financial question would be like, okay, what about the transcripts, the paid speeches you you had? That was nowhere in the debate. Nowhere. Nowhere in the debate. Mm-hmm. What else wasn't wasn't there? The emails? Yeah. No questions about the emails? No. Those have been some hard hitting questions. Mm-hmm. What about, yeah, I mean and, and we emails, uh Clinton Foundation. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Pay to play. The pay to play. I didn't see any questions about that. And to me, the most important was the DNC leaks. Nothing. I didn't see anything about Nothing. that. And Lester Holt is a Republican. <laughs> a Republican. But again, it, all that doesn't matter at the end of the day. They just got to keep this WrestleMania thing right. going. To wrap this all up, me personally, my opinion, I believe that Hillary Clinton, her responses lined up closer to where I'm at in thinking than Donald Trump. So if you want to, so I I can say, I think for me personally, Hillary Clinton won. Now, with that being said, does it mean a damn thing? Does it mean a damn thing? I don't think so whatsoever. I don't think it means anything because I think you were the one that said that this was the most inconsequential debate probably ever in history, right? And I really believe that because Trump did exactly what he was supposed to do, and that was catered to his base, Mm -hmm. catered to his followers. Mm -hmm. And Hillary Clinton did the same damn thing. So, like, did one benefit more than the other? I don't think so. I think it was a wash. The only way, well, I guess the the main way to judge that would be to see where people who were sitting on the fence fell. What side did they fall on? And there was nothing in that debate that would push them over to either side. And I think uh, you said this before, the people who are actually on the fence are still actually leaning to one side. They're not truly on the fence. Right. So, you know, this debate may have solidified their position, but they were were probably going there anyway. There's nothing that they did that was drastic. No. That would drastically change... Like, I guess, the face of who they are. Right. It was nothing that kind of drastically changed, like, I guess, uh, their character. And that and that's what would have had to happen if they were going to really change some minds there, you know, pull some people to their side. Like, if Trump came out there and was like, look, I'm sorry to the black community, to the Muslim community, to the Mexicans, you know, for disparaging you and insulting you. I- I'm really sorry about that. And I support Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> <laughs> if it said something like that, Ooh. now that might have opened some eyes. Now, of course, you know, of course, it would have been transparent in what he was trying to do. But yeah, at least some yeah. people would have been like, okay, let me take another look at this guy. Now, on the other hand, you know, what if, what if Hillary Clinton came out there, transcripts in hand, and was like, bam, I got my transcripts. Y'all was waiting on them, right? I got them right here. Well, now that might have changed some. Well, yeah, that one thing probably would have changed it but for me she would have had to come there and say something like you know um, um hillary clinton it's uh you know i'm uh glad to be here at this presidential debate mm-hmm. and i have come to all of you to heal <laughs> I've, I've, come, I've been brought to heal <laughs> that would have been fun <laughs> to go back to your final assessment about who won and who didn't win like I think on the surface, yeah, Hillary Clinton mm-hmm. won, but it, like I said, it doesn't even mean anything. It doesn't even mean anything because Watch. who did she win against? Yeah, this is like this is her profession. She's a professional politician. This is what she does. Donald Trump barely even plays rec league. Yeah, barely yeah. even plays rec league. I know. So you you telling me a pro mm-hmm. beats somebody who just maybe shoots every once in a while? <laughs> Exactly. And how then, impressive is it? How impressive is that? I'm supposed yeah. to give her like mad credit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, and, and look, we, we all know that Hillary Clinton is prepared when she goes into these mm-hmm. debates, and often has you know a a good show, and she's competent. She knows policy and stuff oh, like yeah. that. It's just that it's just inconsequential because this isn't going to move the needle. It's just not going to move the needle. Uh, we got what two more <laughs> two more presidential <sighs> debates well, we, to go well, through. Pepto Bismol didn't work. Now we what need to find some other kind of antacid. Emodium 
a Amodium AD, maybe some some ginger, some uh, chamomile. G- okay, some oh, yeah, cinnamon, some, some tea, some maybe tea? some tea or something. Okay, okay. Throw some okay. alcohol in there, you know, make it some hard tea. <laughs> <laughs> something like, like Long Island tea or something. <laughs> maybe some tequila. 